Do women belong in the manosphere? The manosphere that is on YouTube. Um, and I want to say my piece upon this subject because I get comments time to time being like, you know, you have no right talking about these things because you're not a man. You have no idea what it's like to be a man, etc. And I'm here to advocate not only for men, but also for women. And the underlying message I commit myself to, yes, is to motivate our men, but it's much deeper than that. And I know having a woman talk about these subjects can make me seem like I'm doing it for validation or um, to gain some sort of overnight success talking about topics that a lot of women don't feel comfortable addressing. And that is truly not the reason I have showed up every single day and uploaded a video on YouTube. Um, all of my videos come from a deep sense of passion and care. And this is my purpose. Um, I never thought that, you know, me, a 24 year old woman would have so much dedication to uplifting men in today's society, but I do. And I do because I truly believe that the more women can take accountability for their own lives, how maybe they have been treated in the past by men and to take accountability for even another person's actions towards you will leave you with a, a sense of freedom, freedom that comes from not playing victim in your life. And that's something I had to do to even get me to where I'm at today talking to men because I've been hurt by men, okay? Um, I grew up with an abusive father, uh, abusive stepdads, um, you know, so it's like I, for me, I had to overcome the hurdle that men are the problem, that men are going to hurt me. I had to do that for myself, for me to actually feel empowered in femininity, because in order for a woman to even be in femininity fully, she has to be in alliance to masculinity. And this is a very crucial formula for a woman to be in safe femininity. And I say safe femininity because a lot of people in today's culture um, think femininity is, you know, being a boss babe or, um, you know, even like being really soft and, and fragile. And being a fragile woman is actually not feminine at all. Femininity is true power. And when a woman can access it, it allows her to truly embody the ocean. And the ocean comes with so much force, but it's gentle force. It's reassurance within herself that she is protected. Now, this is why I talk to men. I talk to men because I realize that when more men awaken into their masculine power, the more men find purpose in this life purpose that is not just to fulfill short-term voids or needs, etc. But when a man can think about his future, when a man thinks about being that protector, provider, leader, not for himself, now that's a part of it, but for a family, for a future, for the next generation that deserves, deserves healthy fathers. We live in a society today where the majority of people either grow up without fathers, with unstable households, that truly a man needs to foster. Man needs to lay the foundation down for his wife to feel safe in even being able to raise a family. Do you know how much work that is for a woman to raise children and you know, that needs to be honored and respected as well within women in today's culture. Now, a lot of women will fight that. They think that they can be a mom, be a boss babe, be all of these things that men can be. But men can't be a mother. Men can't have a child in them for nine months. Now, the honor that brings to femininity is profound. You are the giver of life. And I want more men to realize this as well. 
how when we as a collective can actually join hands and lift one another up instead of tearing each other down, that's when we get to see change. And, you know, a lot of people would probably be more comfortable me talking about, you know, I would probably gain more of a woman following if I was talking down to men, if I was telling women how to be manipulative. All of these manipulation tactic tactics to gain control over our men today. And I refuse to do that. I refuse to be a part of the over-sexualization in today's society. I refuse to waste my time on anything other than my purpose of why God even put these messages in my heart, on my mind daily to talk to you about. So yes, it could be uncomfortable seeing women entering the manosphere, but please remember women are the wisdom holders. We need more women to speak wisdom into our men so men can go out and be purposeful. A man needs a woman to feel purposeful. He needs another to feel validated in his masculinity. If there was no one around for a man to prove himself to, he would not feel empowered. And that is not a bad thing. That is an okay thing. That is how it is planned. So please, Start integrating maybe more of a woman's perspective on these manly topics. These are the answers that will actually bring you closer, perhaps, to balancing out your masculine and feminine energies within yourself. Because a man who is overly masculine will be a repellent to women. Do you know why? Because overly masculine men with no structure, no foundation, no integration, will cause destruction, will be unsafe. And a woman needs that. And women need healthy masculinity in today's society. Oh, and men, trust me, I know how badly femininity is needed as well. So my intention of why I talk about the things I talk about is for us to actually be able to rise up and to stop being depleted and to stop playing victim. I ask you today, how in your life can you show up better, not only for yourself, but for your future? And can you have a higher purpose in mind? Each day, you get a new day to live. The women entering the manosphere, you must take what they say in a way that can assist you. And maybe some things I say don't resonate. Maybe some things other women don't say don't resonate. And that's cool. But it's also giving you guys a mirror in this space of the manosphere space of a woman's perspective, which is needed for your guys' growth integration and stability within this topic because if it's only men talking about how to get women or what women like etc that's coming from their experience their filtration of their own trauma and triggers so when you hear it from a woman's perspective you're hearing it from the source you want the answers from so just take that in mind okay um Yeah, I wanted to come on here today and share with you guys why I'm so dedicated to the Manosphere in particular, because I understand it's not only serving you men, but it will have an impact on our women and ultimately the next generation, which truly matters. The next generation is what's going to solidify a new earth on planet earth. And that is needs to be tended to, and that needs to be in everyone's thoughts. It should be. The next generation matters, and I don't want them growing up in the indoctrination that's happening. I won't have it. 
So that's why I show up and do these videos, okay? Um, I love you men. I love you women. I love planet Earth. And I want to see change. And I want us to lift one another up so we can ultimately see one another in truth. And not with the fogged mirror of a disillusion that's been passed down and passed down through trauma and hurt. It's up to us to break generational cycles and to bring forth higher energetics to embody so we can be an attracting force into new earth itself. So I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, give it a like and I will see you in my next video. Bye.